Standing back handsprings and round off back handsprings continue to be two of the most common things that are asked about. An athlete submitted these videos to us and we wanted to give her some critique. First thing is we see that she's dropping her chest and whipping backwards. That causes too much of an arch and an undercut handspring. Additionally, she's letting her arms fall in front of her chest versus squeezing them around her ears. Because of that, it's dropping her into a push-up position. Now here we can also note that a bigger knee drive and more power in her round off will help to get her running tumbling pass off to a better start. From there again, whipped head back and too much of an arch in her body and then the hands drop in front of the chest. So this athlete has one major flaw that's actually really common to see in people that are working on standing handsprings and running round off back handsprings. And that's letting the arms drop to the front of the body. Whenever the arms drop down, that's going to change the entire angle of the handspring. When the arms drop, it's also very hard to snap the feet down. So the biggest thing I would say for this athlete to focus on is spending more time upside down in your handspring, building up that shoulder strength, also working a lot on blocking drills like pop pop drills, even popping and doing blocks onto panel mats if you can find a place that you can pop up onto and definitely work snap downs from that handstand position. What's happening is you're stronger in your chest than you are on your shoulders, so you're allowing your hands to drop to allow you to use the muscles that you feel stronger with. So if we build strength in the shoulders, you'll then be a whole lot more comfortable with using those muscles instead. Hey guys, if you like this video, give us a thumbs up, leave your thoughts in the comments below, and subscribe to our channel to stay up to date with our newest and latest videos.